buzzing. What's happening guys, Pokemon Naruto DBZ1 here, and the main reason behind iOS's big success is the App Store. Now unfortunately most of the apps on the App Store are paid, so before you go out and waste your money on an app that could be a piece of junk, um, I'm going to show you how to try before you buy, that is how to get cracked apps for free on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. And now this video was inspired by Blue Smots, he actually messaged me and told me to make the video, so I'll have his channel's link in the description below, credits to him. Now, the best part about this video is that you do not need to jailbreak. Yes, you heard me right, no jailbreak and crack dabs are finally in the same sentence together. So let's go ahead and get started. Now go to Safari and open up this website. I will have the link to this website somewhere around here, and if you still can't see it, uh, I'll put it in the description below, so don't worry about that. Now the first thing you'll see when you go to the website is that there's Asian text, Japanese or Chinese text, I can't figure it out. There's Asian text everywhere. Now, um, th throughout the whole process, you're going to see a lot of this text. So you guys are going to have to decipher what you're going to need to do um, with according to the icons. So that for now, just press this big, big gray button that I just pressed and wait for the pop-up. Now, once you get the pop-up, um, it's a re the real one is on top, don't get confused. Uh, so once you get the pop-up, just press the install button. As you can see, it's very similar to vShare. Um, I'm gonna come back once it's uh, once it finishes downloading. Alrighty then, it finished downloading. Let me just open the app, and as you can see, um, it's kind. Of, the app is small on my iPad screen because it was actually developed for the iPhone. So don't worry about that. We can zoom it. Alrighty then, the only thing I could decipher from this is iPhone, iPad, iTouch, iOS 6, and iOS 7. <laughs> so yeah, um, now you get some information about their website and their desktop sync app, something which we will be talking about in just a minute. Um, so yeah, for now, just press this big black button on the right hand side of the screen, and you will be greeted with some more Asian text, a cute smiley face, and an arrow pointing to the downloads tab. Ignore all that, press the screen, and a pop-up will come up showing you some of the popular apps in whichever country this app is from, China or Japan. So just go ahead and close this. And as you can see, I'm circling a search icon right now. Press that and you'll be greeted with some more Asian text. Ignore that, I'll press the screen and press the magnifying glass for search and search for your favorite paid app. Um, I'm going to use Pimp Your Screen for this video. And as you can see, in the App Store, Pimp Your Screen costs around 110 rupees. So that's not cheap at all for an app. Now, we can get, I'm going to show you how to get this for free um, using Tongbu. So yeah, just press the app. And press the bottom right hand button. And you, you, let me just show you some screenshots of what this app does. This, this app just, you know gets you some cool wallpapers anyway just press the green button and uh, you'll get some more Asian text and look in the downloads tab um, on the top now you get some more Asian text just be sure to press the X button and I'll come back after this finish downloaded Alrighty, so it's finished downloading and you'll get another pop-up asking you if you want to install the app. And we obviously do, so just press install. Alrighty then, you can see that the app is going to install. You might get another pop-up after it's done. Alrighty then, now once you open the screen, you'll get the Apple ID error. And to fix this error, we need to go to our PCs. So, and I'll be showing you this right around now. So let's switch to my desktop. Alrighty, so open up your browser. And go to the Tongbu website. Just Google Tongbu and open and get manage, navigate to this website. So yeah, what you're going to want to do here is press the second tab on the top, which will open another tab. Um, and again, you get some more Asian text, but all we want is to download the, the sync manager, or whatever you want to call it. 
Um, so yeah, just press the green button. I already did, so I'm not going to be doing that. Right, so once you download, you'll have installed two apps on your desktop. That is the Tongbu Assistant and the Tongbu App Center. Now, the Tongbu App Center just shows you a bunch of more apps which you can download. And what we're interested in is the Tongbu Sync Assistant. Alright, so you you have to connect your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to the screen right now, and you'll be greeted with a beautiful sync manager, much better than 25pp, you know, visually. Um, so close all the pop-ups, and you, you can see that it you know shows me my storage, it shows me some cool apps, you can manage my music, my file system, a bunch of other stuff. So just press apps, press apps, and on the bottom left hand side under my device um, press apps again and then on the uh, right around the top um, there's gonna be a fix crash button it shows me it, it just this is just a list of your apps what we're interested in is the fix crash button so yeah press the fix, fix crash button now this takes a little longer than like, a competitor that is 25 pp but it's worth it so I'm done for now and I can unplug my device and close Tongbu. All right, so back on my iPad, um, the Pimp Your Screen app is working now. As you can see, um, it asked me to rate or review it, which I'm going to decline. So yeah, you can use any paid app for free. You can as long as you want, um, with maximum functionality. There are no disadvantages. It's all free. So yeah, I hope you can save a lot of money uh, by doing this, uh, but you're going to have to buy the app anyway. But if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Above all, subscribe. Subscribing helps me out a lot. It motivates me to make uh, new videos. So yeah, do that, guys. This is Pokemon Naruto DBZ1, and um, so I'm signing out. Peace.